Get Sports Focus is presented by Dr. Ting Sports Medicine and Orthopedic Surgery. March Madness is upon us, and this one's for the ages number five in the nation, Mini Monarchs, taking on the NCS Division IV champions, Salesian Pride. CIF State Open Division number three seed Monarchs versus number six seed Pride for the Get Sports Focus Top Flight Elite Basketball Game of the Week. Let's go! Opening quarter, Mignon Moore figuring out early how to get around the tall Monarchs defense. First bucket of the game goes to Sidney Stewart for the quick lay-in. But the Monarchs would rally with three scoring possessions in a row. Charisma Ortiz with the three. Haley Jones doing her thing in the paint. Gets that short jumper in. And this is classic midi hoops right here. Watch the ball movement on point. Nicole Blakes with the N1 bucket. 9-4 to four midi. But Salesian did their homework and will figure out where to intercept those passes. Moore with the pick and she'll bury it quick. And watch her make that Monarch defense work. Salesian will close up the gap 13-10 to 10 at the end of the first. Jordan Hobson with the easy pop. Let's go to the second quarter. Midi will start off with a 9-2 run, but Salesian keeps getting up. Hobson with a straight layup. Midi responds. Thalia Garza with the finish for the Monarchs. Midi looking to establish a solid lead at the half. Blakes to Garza. 26-22 Monarchs, but Salesian had an answer from long distance. Mignon Moore, bang! Ortiz had eight points for Midi in the first half. Here's three of that. 31 to 27 Midi. Closing seconds of the half. Check out the blockage by Stewart. That led to this fast break finished by Hobson to close it up at 33-32. But Mitty would manage to scratch out another bucket. Haley Jones led the Monarchs with 10 points in the first half. Janae Anderson missed the three ball, but gets her own rebound to Jones for the layup. 35-32, Mitty at intermission. Third quarter. Helena Hill started it back with the three. But the Pride was on attack mode all night. They really went after that ball that kept them in the game. Moore with another steal. Hobson with the layup. Moore was on fire. She had 27 points through three quarters. Mitty would put together a nice run late in the third to pull away. Blakes gets the baseline jumper. Garza with the fast finish from Jones. And then this, Daniela Guillermo. Drains the three. Monarchs with a seven point lead heading into the final quarter, 52 to 45. Fourth quarter, Salesian sticking with the game plan, attacking the ball. Julianne Martin with the key steal, gets it to Moore for the basket. 53 52, Pride with eight unanswered points, now with the lead. And they'll trade punches. Hill up top, jumper good. Salesian answers. Martin banks the three ball. Her role became important down the stretch. Tied at 56. Mitty would pull away. Hill to the rack. She finished with 15 points. Followed by this. Madeline Holland with the layup. 61-56. Mitty with less than five minutes left in the game. But here's the game changer. Mignon Moore was perfect from the line. 10 for 10 to be exact, and that free throw put the pride up 67-66 with 105 left in the game. High drama in the closing seconds. Mitty with the opportunity for a game-winning bucket. Turns it over. Lisa Hardy with the steal. Takes it to the other end. Garza looked like she would get the ball back for the Monarchs, but she stepped out of bounds. Salesian with the chance to put it out of reach. Mignon Moore drives. Sinks it, her 40th point of the game. I smell MVP. Midi, not out, looking for the big play. 
Holland drives, no foul, but a turnover instead. Jackson with the block, it's over. Salesian takes down the Monarchs, 70 to 66. Here's Ali Williams with the pride for the Top Flight Lead Basketball Game of the Week post-game interview. Game of the Week is brought to you by Top Flight Elite Basketball and by Ike's Lovin' Sandwiches. Championship level sandwiches every time. Are you guys ready? We are here for Top Flight Elite's Game of the Week and what a game it was. The number six Legion taking down number three Mitty. It was a close game from the beginning to the end, you guys. You know, Mignon. Mignon, I need you over here. Come over here. Okay, so Mignon. So you guys came up and down the entire time. What, what kept you guys going when you came down to the rest and even to back up? Our team bench, our team was amazing on the bench. They helped us on the court, but the energy and the enthusiasticness, they helped us on the, on the court to um, take our team to a victory. That's yeah. great. And you guys definitely kept it going, Julian. You had some key steals. Yes, in You ended it with the free throws as well. Your coaches said you had to miss yes. one. But, you know, you were such a huge part in this, too. Can you talk about the teamwork in itself, what you guys have done to be able to get this far? All I, all I can say is that without my team, we would not have just be the number two team in the country! All right, well, you know, to end this, uh, Julia, because of your huge plays, we're going to award you the playmaker of the game. So here is your... Award you with an Ike gift card for you to go celebrate with, as well as this shirt that we're going to give you. And you need to show that off to the camera to commemorate your game. And, but of course, that's not all because we also have to have an MVP of the game. Which drum will please? Who else could it be but Mignon Moore? T-shirt for you, so show that to the camera. You guys, 